Okay, Shoulders 101, Delts to Die For. Now, before we go into the exercises, let's talk a little bit about shoulders and how they complement your physique. Well, shoulders are one of the most important aspects of a physique. Um, a broad, round, um, solid pair of shoulders enhances a physique. Um, like they always say, you can tell a man, uh, a bodybuilder from across the room, because of his shoulders um, and basically the better you can make your shoulders um, the better uh, your symmetry is gonna look and uh, I'm quite uh, proud of my shoulders they're big um, and they're very round and I'm uh, very pleased with the shape and I know a lot of bodybuilders always are trying to get that round cannonball kind of shape so um, I'm gonna tell you how to do it okay for me the number one uh, shoulder building exercise despite that so many people find it um, incredibly difficult to do and hard on their joints and uh, this that and the next thing is a behind the neck press uh, sorry to put that more correctly a seated behind the neck press um, now if you are unable to do that um, it's usually due to your genetic uh, the genetic structure of your skeletal frame in which case I recommend that you do a front press um, it's okay if you do it standing. Um, it's a bit difficult to do it uh, seated without someone helping you quite a lot, actually. But let's just clarify that the number one, in my opinion, once again, the number one shoulder builder is a behind-the-neck press or a front military press. Um, it's basically a press. A shoulder press and it builds shoulder mass it builds the entire overall shoulders the delts and uh, it, it builds them now this is me doing uh, two reps I think of 110 kilos and um, next up you'll see me doing 120 that was my my max that I ever pressed um, behind the neck press was 120 kilos there it is um, days workout gym uh, the lighter plates are 15 kilos the darker plates are 20 kilos and the bar itself is 20 kilos making it 120 kilos and so that's your number one builder um, don't go that heavy um, that's years of doing it um, now let's talk about um, there's a, a standing military press for you um, but it's with a power clean. That's a clean and press. Um, that's a different kind of exercise. But the top motion, that's a press. That's a military press. That's what I meant by, uh, you saw me doing it behind the neck. Now it's from the front. Uh, if you can't do it behind, do it that way. Um, and don't power clean it up and down and then press. This is a different exercise. You, you, uh, you clean the weight um, for explosiveness. Um, and then you press. Um, I think that's 90 kilos there. Now, although I'm showing you this, um, it's part of my routine, uh, power cleans and presses and sometimes just power cleans, I do not recommend that you do them. They are thoroughly, um, what's the word? They are thoroughly, um, they, I can't find my words here, but they're, they damage the body. Um, they're very strenuous. That's what I wanted to say, and I don't recommend them. Um, I did that. I do them one off here and there, and did them one off. But they're too strenuous to to put it in your 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 shoulder building uh, routine. And once again, it's me just showing, um, testing my body and um, going for strength. I just pointing out here. This is a, there's Mike Ruland in the background doing the exercise. I just did it a minute ago. This is a staple in any uh, shoulder routine. And that's an upright row. Everyone needs to do upright rows. So what you see Mike Ruland doing in the background there, that needs to be in your shoulder workout all the time. It's fantastic. It does your traps. Um, it does your shoulders at the same time. It helps with the delt shoulder tie in and it's an upright row. Do them nice and strict. Um, good form. Try not to rock and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, we're going to switch now to, these are power cleans. Now, you should see me doing just a pure power clean. I'd grab a very heavy weight, I think that's about 110, and just clean it. 
um, and then put it back down and clean it again. Now, these are again, these are very strenuous um, to your body, and I don't recommend them to all your joints. To me, they I did them at a period um, to kind of jolt my body into extra growth, training naturally at this time. There's 110 kilos there, or is that wait? Yeah, that's 110 or more, and uh, it's very strenuous. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't recommend it, but it's in the video and it's what I do anyway. Um, shrugs with a shrug, shrug machine. Okay, first of all, let's just say that shrugs are a definite in your shoulder routine. Everyone has to shrug. Um, here's me doing a machine shrug. A day's workout gym, red plates are 25 kilos each, so you can imagine how heavy that is. But I actually recommend dumbbell shrugs, as you see me doing them here. The problem with machine shrugs is I think they put your spine at an awkward uh, position if you're tall like me anyway. And I, I've seen shorter guys benefiting more from uh, machine shrugs. So I recommend dumbbell shrugs personally. Um, they've always served me well um, in building my shoulders. Now here's a very good exercise for shoulder uh, creating a round shoulder and therefore the illusion of a broader uh, shoulder. Um, and it's uh, a seated uh, lateral raises. Now, I'm going quite heavy, so there's quite a bit of rock there, but um, you should try and do them nice and strict, and they'll serve you well. It's a very good exercise. I play it again here in slow motion. Um, it's uh, you Basically, you sit in a, in a chair, and uh, you raise both the dumbbells at the same time, um, because they're heavy, you put a little of rock, uh, a little bit of rock into it, and uh, you get the weight up. Or you take less weight and you do it very strictly, which, to be honest, is the best way to do it. Because I've really learned over the years and throughout my bodybuilding life um, that one of the things of main importance in bodybuilding is longevity. Um, you want to be doing this all your life, then you can't train the way I used to train, um, where you see me, for instance, back there. Um, doing 120 kilo power cleans and clean, uh, doing a clean and press. You've got to keep in mind um, longevity, all the time longevity. Do you want to be a bodybuilder uh, for h half a year or something? Or do you want to be a bodybuilder your whole life? And that's where you've got to think, do you want it to be part of your lifestyle? And that's where you've got to start thinking um very carefully about your safety in the gym. I can't stress it more. In fact, I'm going to do a video just about um, bodybuilding longevity. And uh, in his new movie, JCVD, um, you see a bit of Jean-Claude Van Damme's training, and he stresses at his age, which is, I think, almost 50 now, um, how he trains very uh, carefully to avoid injury. And I think it's the wisest way to train, um, to keep in mind at all times your safety in the gym. Now, um, hopefully, hopefully you can see from this, the footage, uh, the photos here, um, my shoulders, um, the development of my shoulders based on the exercises I've just told you to do. Um, you can see, I don't want to be falsely modest, you can see my shoulder even in the distance, it's like a ball. I've got good round shoulders and you can see how they broaden the physique. Um, and shoulders are fantastic you, you have to have good shoulders if you have bad shoulders on your physique it's a terrible loss um this is one of my favorite photos coming up look you can see how round my shoulders are there how good my traps are chest how it all complements the physique um that's how i want your shoulders to be like so that's why i'm doing this video um because really you want nice round shoulders um there's a number of other exercises you can research into. I always go for the bread and butter exercises really when I do these videos because I just want to show you what I use to really as the mainstay, as the staple of my training, as the guaranteed to work um, lifts and exercises. So I I advise you to follow them, but at the same time, your body is unique to you. Do some research, find other exercises. Um, and when you do a new exercise, always do it uh, very carefully with light weight and uh, wait for your body to get used to it. Um, so hopefully this has been a useful video to you. Um, I know I've had much demand for these uh, 101 videos, so I'm turning them out for you. So once again, take care and good luck with your training.